In this video, I'm going to try and provide you with a relatively simple, easy way without using a lot of materials. Again, if you don't have a builder's level uh, surveying tool, something like that, uh, this might be a good uh, place to start here to figure the tread run or the horizontal length of a stairway on a sloping hill. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is grab a 4x4 four four post and drive a nail into it and firmly attach a string to the top of it. You're actually going to be using the string to measure the distance. That's what the string is going to be for. So wherever you position the nail, um, make sure that uh, you're aware of it. Uh, it's not uncommon to drive a nail in somewhere and then take your measurement from one side of the board without compensating that you put the nail in the center of the board. Next thing would be to dig a hole probably about, uh, I don't know, a foot in the ground, just something to stabilize the post. You might actually need to leave the post in the ground. You might need to position it in a spot to where you can use it while you're building your stairway. So keep that in mind also. If you are going to build a stairway, I mean, you can always move the post later, but why not position it in a spot in the correct spot the first time. I mean, you might need to use a plumb post like this to pull measurements from to make sure that uh, all of your uh, steps are lining up correctly. After you've dug the hole and set the post, uh, drive some stakes in around it. And uh, then you can use the level to plumb the post. Now, you might need larger stakes you might need longer stakes, and you might even need to use two by fours. Um, this, the reason why I'm, I'm going with a four by four. Now you could always just you could always nail two two by fours together. You're going to want a straight or as straight as possible four by four, and um, and you could always check that with your string. Attach the string to one corner of the four by four, and then attach the other end to the other string. Pull it tight and then see if it's actually straight. And if you're off um, a half inch, something like that, uh, it's probably not going to be a big deal. You're just looking to get, with this, you're hoping to get something within a couple of inches. You know, if you have a 12-foot horizontal measurement and you're off by two inches, that's probably not going to be a life or death, create a life or death situation for your stairway. After you have plumbed everything up, you've got the post firmly attached, take the other end of the string and come over and uh, see where it's at. And you could tie a knot in the string, you could mark it with a pin, or you could even cut the string. After you have um, pulled the string tight, you can lay the string down on the ground or lay it on another long board and simply measure the length of the string and this should give you the horizontal run of the area where you'd be hoping to build a stairway. Here's something else you might want to consider. Again, planning. We've got to plan everything out before we actually do it. Make sure that we uh, don't do something that we're going to regret. And one of those things might be to actually plan on using the 4x4 post, tying the string to the top of it, and then uh, not actually being able to get to the string. So if you were going to use the post uh, just to get the measurement, you can simply take the post down, remove the string, and then measure it. But if you're going to use the post as a place to pull measurements from while you're building your stairs, then it wouldn't be a bad idea to attach a board to the side of the post and then put your nail in the board, uh, tie the string to it. Uh, this way you can remove the board. And I don't recommend, you know, putting any, uh, you know, I recommend screwing it in using some screws and don't put the screws in any higher than you can reach. So this wouldn't be a bad idea. Again, if you're going to use this um, post to pull measurements from while you're building your stairway and it is going to stay in the ground, then um, you're going to need to figure out a way 
to remove uh, the string from the top. And this uh, attaching a board to the side might provide you with an excellent, uh, excellent way to do that. Don't forget to check out our bargain stair building book packages at stairsforyou.com. I've went ahead and put together quite a few different packages, combo books to save you some money. So what are you waiting for? Get over there and check them out.